if you're really smart and you do your reading, you may remember that there's a disease of bone called Paget's disease in which the osteoblasts go crazy and they start tremendously proliferating and making all kinds of uh, irregularly uh, cemented bone uh, throughout the body. It's just a tremendous proliferation of osteoblastic activity. There is another Paget's disease of breast as well and specifically it not only involves the breast, but it involves the part of the breast we normally don't care about too much, the skin. And specifically, it involves a part of the skin called the nipple. Here is a breast. Here is the skin of the breast. Notice there's a stratum corneum. Notice there's the normal maturation of cells from the basal layer to the uh, superficial layers. Notice when you get towards the nipple, however, you see a lot of inflammation and you see some hyperkeratosis as well. But the thing I would like to really point out is that besides that, you can see that if you look at the base of the cell, you're going to see some cells which don't look like they belong there. And even from this power, if you look, it looks like a lot of these cells in the basal layer are abnormally ballooned, like here, like here, like here, like here, like here. These are Paget cells. Here's one, here's one, here's one. Here's one, here's one. They uh, are the cause for the amount of inflammation you see here and perhaps uh, some secondary reactive hyperkeratosis as well. You can also notice that these ballooned pagetoid cells are limited to the uh, good side of the basement membrane and this is not an infiltrating carcinoma even though they are malignant cells. That's the good news. The bad news is Paget's disease of nipple has a phenomenally high correlation with underlying uh, infiltrating malignancies as well, uh, not only in the breast but in other uh, organs as well. So even though this malignancy out here is confined to the top part of the basement membrane and doesn't infiltrate, some of the studies will tell you that there's a 25, 50, 80, whatever you want to read, percent chance that in this patient there's a deeper malignancy. And that's the bad news about uh, Paget's disease of nipple. And thank you very much.